All right, we've got the solar eclipse behind us. So who's going to be shaking and quaking now and when? Actually, it looks to me like a Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday at about 1030 at night is when the moon squares Uranus. And Wait a minute, hold on a second. Yep. Uh -oh. Well, anytime Uranus is squared, you know you got Whenever a Whenever the moon squares Uranus, it always brings big problems, shaking okay. and quaking. And I do, I worry about the West Coast because they were the ones that could see um, the eclipse and where the shadow of the eclipse falls is where it kind of magnetizes the earth. Yeah. So uh, I'm not going to California for the uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I'm going to terra firma. There you go. So what so else can we look forward to? Actually, we have a couple of things. We have the sun in Gemini, because that, that's what happened um, this weekend. The sun went into Gemini. But Mercury, the planet of communication, also is in Gemini. So when you have all those planets in Gemini, that's where your emphasis is going to be over the next week or so. So for Geminis, it's about them. It's about them. They're in the spotlight for one reason or another, for good or for ill. Um, and, and they are going to have to try and use their words to defend their actions, which is always quite a challenge. Mm. And everybody's pointing fingers at Gemini's. It's that kind of a thing. Yeah. For Cancers, um, this is a very slow time of year for them. This is the end of their solar year. And they want to finish up old projects. They don't really want to take on new ones because they just don't have the energy to do it. It's a very tiring, very fatiguing time for Cancers. So they should actually go on vacation. For Leos, great time for Leos oh, because good news. Uh, the eclipse is in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. It's going to take a team effort, a group effort, but everybody um, is working to get the Leo, what the Leo wants, which I think is a very, very cool thing. And the things they put in motion now can be actual, come to be by the end of June, which is amazing news if you really yes. think about it. <laughs> for Virgos, it is the Virgo dream come true. They're going to have some very fruitful conversations over the next seven or eight days or so regarding their career uh -huh. and uh, their professional image. And um, they have to be really careful to, to not criticize something because they'll end up with the job of fixing it. They'll end <laughs> up with the job that they have and then get, then get the job to try and fix it. So, and Virgos are renowned for pointing fingers saying, you should do this and this and this. So, they get a little bit of that back. For Libras, um, they are hitting the road. They've got long distance travel ahead of them, places to go, um, and important contracts and negotiations, important matters finally get resolved mm -hmm. that they've been waiting for one way or the other, which could be good news for Andrew and for Nikki both. Okay. Because it's positive for Libras. For Scorpios, it's about other people's money flowing their way. They don't want to spend their own money. They want to benefit from their partners doing well. It has to do with unearned income. Um, and if they were looking for any kind of financial relief, it comes in the next three weeks or so, which is great for Scorpio. Good for news. Sagittarians, it is in their seventh house of partners as well as open enemies. Mm. Um, and Sagittarians finally find out he's been working against them since November. Ah. And then they get to devise a plan to deal with it. But for one reason or another, um, their public image is in the spotlight. And uh, also partners have the upper hand, so you know what all good Sagittarians say. Yes, yes dear. dear. That's yes, it. See? Dear. Works well. Capricorns in their sixth house of work and responsibility. Capricorns also, they get two jobs um, and they get to do two jobs. I don't think they get paid for doing both jobs, which I, I think is crummy. Um, but I think if they do both jobs, eventually by the middle of June, that will settle down to one really good job for them, good. which would be worth it. For Aquarians, they just want to have fun. This is the next three weeks for them is all about love, sports, amusements, pleasures, which has to bode well for Joe Madden because he's an Aquarian. Ooh, so good. if Joe Madden is happy, then I think the rest of Tampa Bay would be happy too. For Pisces, it is in their fourth house of home, um, home, and, and important matters keep them close to home. Something new comes to light within the next seven days or so that changes things for Pisces one way or the other. And it's not a bad thing. It's something that they've been waiting for to happen. They've kind of been holding on, and, and they don't have to hold on anymore because they find the answer that they've been looking for. Good. Which is a cool thing. For Aries, the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up, and they're going to find themselves doing the same thing over and over again. Not like an endless groundhog day where they don't accomplish anything. Right. Um, but they find they've got two things going on. Both are entwined, yeah. and they need to find a way to converge them um, so they're not behind the power curve. They actually get to catch up and get ahead of the power curve. And then for the last line, Taurus, it's about the money. It's about earned income. Tauruses are really tired of doing a lot of work and not getting paid for it. Oh, and Miss Pat, you know, they're Amen really, they're really tired of it. Um, and they, they, they've got a plan in mind that they've had since November or December, mm -hmm. but it actually comes to be the final pieces that they've been waiting for finally comes to be this. So they have this whole set plan so they can do what they do the best and still be remunerated for it because oh, yeah. that's how we measure it. So that's tomorrow's news today.
for the 12 signs of the Zodiac. Well, thank you, ma'am. Have a wonderful Memorial Weekend. Wonderful Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. And remember, um, we're here because the military lets us be here. Absolutely. And God bless our men and women who serve and who have served, because without them, our First Amendment rights would be nowhere. And those that we have lost. Uh, especially the ones we've lost. The ultimate lost. sacrifice. The ultimate yeah. sacrifice for the rest of us. See you next week. Next week.